Hello everyone and welcome to this video which is in our engine technology series. Amazing! I'm Grandmaster Matthew Sadler and uh, taking a look at a very interesting development in engine chess. Um, I was pointed to a, um, a new scientific paper by uh, Google DeepMind uh, by a Reddit thread. Thanks very much for that. And um, uh, it's amazing. It's uh, from Google DeepMind, but it's not Alpha Zero, not at all. And uh, that's really fascinating as well. And what these researchers were trying was to uh, build a searchless engine. That is to say, an engine that doesn't calculate at all, but finds great moves just um, by its evaluation, just by uh, understanding the position. And uh, well, they quote, um, they, they, they cited a quote attributed to uh, Jose Raul Capablanca. Actually, I've heard it attributed to uh, Emmanuel Lasker, I think also Alexander Alekin. So uh, it's obviously a very tempting quote, but um, it's a nice one. It says, I see only one move ahead, but it's always the correct one. That's basically the idea of the um, of the engine. Now, how did they do this? They basically got uh, um, um, 10 million uh, light chess games, got Stockfish 16 to analyze um, all the positions from those games. And that just gave it basically a body of knowledge with which it's able to um, to uh, evaluate the position. So, um, yeah, very, very interesting. And, um, well, you know, very, very different to um, um, to Leela playing at one node, which is the, you know, the engine that, uh, that until now, you know, I've always uh, looked to for this sort of stuff and which I've used an awful lot in, um, in my own training. Um, yeah, I mean, if you've read the Silicon Road to Chess Improvement um, or watched the Chessable video or watched any of these videos, and you know that I use it um, a lot. I mean, I love training against Leela at one node because, well, it plays very, very, fast first of all instantly um it plays you know good looking solid moves but because it's not calculating it can also make blunders which is you know quite uh, um well quite hopeful for uh, for a human player and um i mean whenever i'm trying to get into um a specific position you know uh, maybe a middle game that i'm uh, trying to analyze or an opening i like playing against leela at one node first because um um, well, you know, before I get crushed by uh, Stockfish, before the real, uh, you know, hardcore engine stuff starts hitting me, it's nice to try out my human ideas against something that's a bit less strong, something that will play quite reasonable moves, but uh, yeah, maybe fall for some of the little tactical traps that um, that um, that I've uh, developed. You know, so um, really very, very interesting. I recommend it to everyone. Not many people listen, but th there was a very, very strong player recently who uh, who said he trained a lot like this and found it very useful. So yeah, fingers crossed that more people will uh, do that. I mean actually in my book The Silicon Road to Chess Improvement I um, I ran a 101 game match for that book and um, well um, you know published quite a few games from that match in there to show the sort of play and um, it was quite amazing. I mean I made 78% against Leela um, at one node so basically what that means is that Leela is calculating half a, a move one ply um, for every move that it has to play so basically nothing and just relying on its uh, evaluation um, I made mean 78% but the games that Leela was winning there were some incredible ones open Sicilian full of tactics and it was navigating and not blundering you know I was really thinking but come on there must be a blunder soon uh, it just seemed incredible still does to me yeah, that um, that uh, an engine without calculation could play like that and um yeah, you know, I mean, I sort of estimated Leela's strength at around 2450, 2550. Um, so, yeah, you know, um, a rather unreliable one there eh, because of, uh, of uh, tactical mistakes. But, yeah, you know, pretty impressive. So interesting to see what uh, Google Searchless, as we'll call it, uh, could, um, could manage. I mean, just uh, one final thing about, you know, why do I find it so interesting? It's just that, um, you know, Obviously, it's very interesting to try and learn from engines. And um, if an engine playing without calculation or just a minimal amount, you know, maybe five uh, half moves per, per move can reach a level of like 2,900 or 3,000, then that gives you hope as a human player that, OK, all I need to do is to improve the quality of my evaluation and I can reach 3,000 ELO. I can calculate um, a little bit, but I, you know, but if an engine can reach 3,000 ELO without calculation, so could a human player. You know, that's how I sort of reason it. So that's why I'm very interested in this and to see, you know, maybe with good training, being trained, understanding evaluations, understanding positions in the engine way, right from the start, you might be able to train a human player to get to 3,000, 3,100 ELO, you know. Um, so yeah, I mean, what are uh, Google DeepMind claiming in this paper? Well, they um, they uh, said that um, this um, 
uh, the Google search list played against uh, both bots and humans at um, uh, at uh, Light Chess, and uh, against bots it got to a Nilo of twenty two ninety nine. Um, but uh, maybe the more interesting one was uh, against human uh, players. It got a Light Chess rating of uh, twenty eight ninety five. And um, now that they call they call it the Light Chess Blitz Elo. So I'm guessing that that it was uh, it was Blitz. Um, as always with these papers, you know, there's masses of scientific detail, um, a lot of which just goes above my head. Uh, somehow for the chess, there's just not quite enough for me to really get a grip of uh, what that is, because um, obviously, you know, um, um, the rating that you get, it does depend on a few factors when playing human. So, you know, was it uh, played with increment or not with increment? Um, you know, what sort of um, players w were they? Were they strong players that you drew with, or was it you know quite weak players and you just beat a lot of them? Um, um, to be honest, looking at uh, some of the games that have been presented at the end, there's about six or seven in the paper. Have the feeling that um, the, the the human opposition was not so strong. Um, but um, yeah, yeah, you know that's that's just my guess. I mean, it could also be a you know strong player having a bad day. Um, but um, yeah, and of course, you know, Light Chess Elo 2895. I think I was told once that um, somebody of my strength, so between 2600 and 2700, um, would, um, should really have a, a Light Chess Blitz Elo of about 3000. Um, I've never reached that, by the way. I think 2900 is the highest I've been. But um, uh, yeah, you know, so, so yeah, maybe 2895 should equate to about 2500 uh, over the board not sure not sure but um but anyway what i've got here i've got a few um uh, examples here of uh, play by uh, searchless and um yeah well see what you uh, what you think about it so th uh, this is uh, a game where um um searchless is black and i think playing against a bot judging from the play um, it's completely equal many ways to play this as uh, black you could play rook d7 you could play rook d6 um, but here searchless played something quite interesting and the funny thing is is that it was also stockfish's choice um, in my uh, 15 plus 3 um, um, rapid game and of course you know stockfish 16 has been used to evaluate all these light chess um, positions so yeah quite interesting play the move a4 which is very active offering a pawn um, trying to distract the queen from the defense of the bishop and after rook takes a4 then queen d7 played and you're basically trying to get to the back rank if you go bishop c6 we've got queen d1 so bishop c4 played and now um uh search just played queen d1 that was komodo's choice uh, actually stockfish was more interested in knight a5 which is quite interesting white plays bishop f7 queen f7 Queen b4, rook d1 check, knight e1, knight c6, queen c3, knight e5, which looks absolutely horrific. So I would not fancy this with uh, with white, but yeah, obviously uh, Stockfish thinks that you can uh, make a draw here. Um, after queen d1, queen takes d1 played, takes bishop f1, searchless played the sneaky bishop a5, looking for bishop a6. But um, white managed to find a defence there. Rook b1, you've always got the possibility of going rook c1. And after rook b1, rook c2, well, white's got an extra pawn, but it's hard to convert. I mean, actually, uh, white was uh, plus one at one stage, according to um, uh, to my blunder checking by, um, uh, by Fritz, I think it is. Yeah, Fritz, 19. Um, uh, not quite sure why. I think I must have misclicked there, but um, yeah, good engine still. So um, uh, yeah, you know, still um, uh, white did get a little bit better, but the game was eventually drawn. But I think now yeah, this, this looks like a bot as white because it's defending uh, very, very toughly indeed. So that was uh, that game. Just a little bit of um, a little bit of uh, of, uh, of interest there. Um, let's not save that and then move on to the next game, which is really interesting. It's a full game, and I think this is searchless uh, Google searchless with white against a human player as black knight f3 knight c6 now knight a3 from searchless very uh, unusual knight f6 e5 and now um knight d5 from the human player actually uh, knight g4 is um uh, is what the engines wanted they always th already think it's a slight edge for black the idea queen e2 f6 just getting rid of this pawn and then you're going to have uh, you know two pawns in the center against one and this queen on e2 is not great the game got a little bit crazy let me just show you a few a few little moves. 
This is Stockfish against Dragon. Wee F7 check. King F7. Knight G5 check. Looks a little bit like a fried liver. <laughs> queen G4. D5. Queen D3. Threatening Queen F7. And then uh, Queen D6. And um, yeah, quite interesting. I mean, Black's got, you know, threats of Knight B4. Knight D4. White's got Queen F7 check. Nah, it's all happening. Ended up in a draw eventually. But um, yeah, pretty sharp and certainly not, um, not worse for Black. However, white played, uh, black played knight d5 rather, and um, then we got uh, d4 from uh, from white. And uh, yeah, I ran the Leela one node from uh, from here on just to uh, compare. And uh, yeah, just three deviations from uh, from Leela at one node, and uh, that was 0 the 0 0.30 executable with a fairly recent uh, net that you can get from uh, from the Leela download page. So yeah, you know, nothing cutting edge or bleeding edge, but um, just like that. So um, yeah. Decent uh, test, I think. So after C takes D4, Knight B5, um, Black played the move A6, uh, which the engines don't like at all. They like this cunning idea, G6, Bishop C4, and then Bishop G7. Ha ha! The idea being that Bishop D5 allows Queen A5 check. That's how you get yourself uh, developed, uh, you know, you get your king safe and ready to castle and, uh, and defend that F7 square if you need to. Um, white played, uh, in the game, uh, black played a6, knight bd4 and g6. And now, um, yeah, the engines uh, actually wanted to play, a, you know, sort of a positional approach, takes and c4. But searchless played the move bishop c4, and here black played a, a pretty bad mistake. You needed to play bishop g7 to get your king side developed. Well, actually, that is a pretty good sound effect for um, <laughs> for what happened there. Because, uh, yeah, bishop g7, you, you again need this clever trick. Queen a5 check. But, um, yeah, knight c7 was what uh, black played. And uh, the engine's jumping to plus two after this. White takes on c6. You can't take here because bishop f7 and the queen on d8 is, um, is uh, weak. So b takes c6 and now knight g5, knight e6. But here a really funny moment really. Um, Leela one node wanted to play the move bishop e6 which is a pretty good um, move really. I mean you can't take on e6 because I go queen d8 and then knight takes f7 check. So you've got to play f takes e6 and I'm sure Leela was just aiming to play against this guy you know shut him in with f4 and uh, play the play the position with a with a huge bind. Um, Stockfish and Dragon both wanted to play Queen F3 here, hitting F7. Takes, takes, Queen A5, King F1. Yeah, Dragon, Stockfish was looking at E6 and then Bishop F6 and H4 and it was total carnage. Just, uh, yeah, just uh, horrific. Even I might beat Stockfish from there, maybe. So, um, but Searchless played the move Knight takes F7, which... Um, was only uh, only had um, a probability of 3.1% uh, of for Leela one nose. So it's not a move that Leela would have played. Um, presumably, Searchless was trained on absolute human lunatics in uh, on, in light chess. So maybe my games as well. So uh, it's the sort of thing I'm doing at the moment in um, in Bullet. So after King F7 took on E6, King takes E6, and of course, yeah, the King is very weak. But there's no way to exploit it, and uh, that King can head right back. It's minus 2.66 now, uh, the evaluation. Well, Searchless played uh, bishop d2. Leela wanted castle kingside, which was also what the other engines wanted. Um, king f7 played. The engines don't really feel that's necessary. You could just keep on developing quietly and your king is completely safe. But that's why I sort of think this is a human player. King e8 is what the engines wanted now, but uh, the, the black player played king g8, still perfectly fine. And now an interesting uh, choice from Searchless, e6. Obviously likes threatening its mate in ones with uh, queen f7. Um, maybe uh, on light chess games just being trained with pre-moves where people just blunder into mate in ones. Um, yeah, castles was uh, was the move uh, chosen by, uh, by Leela. Um, but e6 is quite fun. Uh, d takes e6 and castle queen side here. Actually, it is quite dangerous. I mean, black needs to, to find... Um, you know, a few good moves uh, to um, just to escape this uh, properly and uh, just uh, realise the piece advantage. Queen d5 is a good start. Um, Searchless played queen e3. Um, the engines uh, rather like queen a3. Leela also wanted queen e3. Uh, but now you need to find a very clever tactic. So queen a2, bishop c3 and now e5. 
which is really cunning. Uh, the idea is if bishop e5, we just play bishop f5, we just develop. If you want to take this guy, be my guest. I've got two bishops for the, uh, for the rook and a raging attack. Uh, the clever one is queen e5, threatening queen h8 check. Bishop h6, f4. Um, and now, well, this looks pretty hopeless for black, but you've got this move king f7. Oh. And after queen e5, you've got bishop f4 and uh, queen a1 check, not, not bishop d2. Come on, queen a1 check. So, um, uh, yeah, so that you, basically you're just safe and you're just going to go rook e8 after. So that is why you can um, manage to do it. Um, unfortunately, the human player played bishop g7. And after bishop c3, this is rather terminal because, well, we've got a rook coming into d8 now. So queen a2 was played, rook d8 check, king f7. But here, actually, searchless made a, quite a, a serious mistake. Um, the best line is to go queen f3 check. And after bishop f6, we take on h8. And then if you run after my rook here, um, I'm just going to take on f6. I'm going to take on h7. And I'm going to go queen h3 here. Which just wins. I'm just threatening uh, rook h8 and, uh, and queen h7 there. So um, that would be completely losing. Um, but search let's play queen f4 check, which looks very reasonable. Um, but um, um, bishop f6 played rook h8. And now black's actually got the extra resource e5. Um, and it's just basically you're just freeing your king now. Um, bishop e5, you go g5, you're freeing your king again. And after queen e4, we can just play bishop f5, takes, and rook takes. And uh, yeah, you know, black's king is a bit uncomfortable, but white's isn't so great either. And um, yeah, the engines were playing out some games and they were ending in draws, you know. But of course, you know, it's way, way better than just uh, losing on the spot there. The human, of course, I think I'm not uh, slandering him by saying this, took on uh, took the rook. And then after bishop f6, e takes f6, queen c7, black resigned. Because if bishop d7, we've got queen d7, checkmate. Quite a fun game. Lots of activity in there. Um, I mean, what did I feel about the play of, uh, of Searchless? I guess, you know, um, certainly, you know, 2895 uh, over the board. Yeah, that, that's, that's not this, uh, this, uh, this strength. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I have the feeling that it's, it's you know, comparable ballpark to uh, the Leela one, though, that I played, um, you know, for the book Silicon Road Chess Improvement. Um, it's, um, you know, it's playing very actively, uh, making a lot of mistakes, but also being surprisingly sharp tactically, you know, in, uh, in certain positions. So, um, yeah, you know, very, uh, very, very interesting. Um, would be very interesting to see a match between Leela OneNode and, uh, and Google Searchless. Uh, you know, Leela OneNode's improved a lot, um, actually. Um, I have to say, you know, I keep on playing games against it. I find it's, it's definitely got stronger. Mr. Beads keeps on telling me I should play another match against uh, Leela at OneNode and uh, stream it live on my channel. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, might, I might do something like that. If my, uh, my job contract ends uh, sometime, then um, I might put aside some time and then uh, could do that. Maybe not the whole match, but uh, you know, some games from the match. That would be quite fun. Though I might get a little bit trolled. I'm a little bit nervous about uh, what the, uh, how close the result would be. But, um, uh, but yeah, you know, I mean, um, Google search is just very, very interesting technology. Really nice to see it. And, uh, well, I hope they're going to make some more, um, uh, yeah, you know, some more uh, progress on this. Keep on training, keep on uh, trying to go deeper and see how strong you can get. Because, as I said, I, I do think it's, um, it's a very significant thing for human players. If, um, if uh, you know, with just quality of, eva of evaluation, uh, an engine can get to um, to a level, you know, above Magnus Carlsen. Um, then um, that's got you know enormous potential for um, for showing you know how far humans could go if they get some things like um, you know evaluation of uh, of positions if, if if they get that right somehow. So uh, yeah, very exciting, very interesting, and uh, well, thanks to the um, to the Reddit uh, uh, writer who um, who pointed me to it, and um, well. Very much looking forward to seeing uh, you know more developments in uh, in this. So there we are. Hope you enjoyed that. Next video is uh, we're back to uh, the deep blue uh, uh, Gary Kasparov match game two. It's an amazing uh, game where I hopefully I've got lots of new insights uh, for you. Well, I'm pretty sure I do have new insights for you. And um, yeah, you know. Otherwise, uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you like the video, give a like, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends. And, um, and uh, you know, hope to see you at the next video.
Thanks for watching.